Alright, hey guys, it's me again. Uh, so I got this uh, little box in the mail today. Uh, it is from the company Don't Forget to Be Awesome. It's uh, a two person, well, it was created by two people, uh, John and Hank Green. If you guys don't know who they are, they're the creators of the YouTube channel Crash Course. And you guys need to go check their stuff out. John Green, uh, author of several books, has done uh, the uh, U.S. and World History courses, which me and the family absolutely love, whereas Hank Green does more of the philosophy and psychology courses. Those are entertaining and educational at the same time, and trying to combine those two words and make it good for everybody to watch is quite a feat, but both of them are phenomenal when they, when they put this stuff out there. But anyways, uh, what's inside is the result of a Kickstarter package or project that was uh, started back in September 2015. It was long, that long ago. And it was a 30-day uh, run to try and raise up uh, some money to get a card game out there that was like the brainchild for uh, Hank Green. And he also, while working on it, was able to get one of my favorite artists out there, Karen Hallian, to draw all these, uh, these characters and uh, some of the designs that were inside of the card game. And uh, they were putting stuff out there and each time I, I got an email, it, it looked great. Now, there were a lot of delays in this. We were supposed to get the results, or this box, back in June 2016, and it's now January, so it's like a seven-month difference there. But <clears throat> I think a lot of it has to do with nobody was expecting this uh, Kickstarter project to be as successful as it was. They were originally uh, projecting to earn, to, or looking for a goal of $15,000, and with over 9,000 backers out there, they were able to raise over 460,000. I'm pretty sure trying to fill all those orders right there uh, put everybody, uh, put yeah, put everybody back and delayed everything. So let's go ahead and get in here and show you guys some of the cards. Uh, oh, there's my I'm like, where did I put my knife? Uh, if I remember correctly, we've got character cards in here. Uh, like I said, this game is for uh, two to four or two to five players. It might be six, but I'm pretty sure it's two to five. Here is the front of the box. I should take the plastic off because I'm sure the light is just shining right off it. Yep. A cooperative card game for two to five players. And I really want to play this with the kids this weekend. It's Martin Luther King weekend, so they have off on Monday. If they're not sick, maybe we'll get some footage. Tori will try to cheat and win. She'll try, but we'll see how it goes. So there's the front. That looks like the students who we can pick from. And here's the back. Again, this is art by Karen Hallian. Absolutely love her artwork. If you guys haven't heard of her or seen her, well, you might have seen her stuff. She does some phenomenal Disney Princess, Doctor Who mashups. Uh, her Star Wars art has been circulating, circulating Facebook and Twitter a lot. So you guys should have seen something like that out there. And if you haven't, go ahead, check her out. I'll try and put a link in the description for you guys to check it out. Along with uh, the Crash Course uh, YouTube channel. Although, I'm pretty sure most people have already seen it. Okay, so what we got is the Game Rules book. It's thin, but this should not be hard to go through because the words aren't taking up that much space. And this should be really easy for everybody to figure out. So what we have here it looks like the, uh, the grade scale. Okay. It came with one six-sided die and... It said two to five players, but I guess you have to choose out of eight colors there what you want to play or who you, who you want to be. So I think these are, yeah, I got to look down real quick. Okay, so these should be the school cards right here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Flip through real quick, let you guys see some of the artwork in there. Oh, there's some purple in there. All right, I'll pick at random. Oh, okay. Like you got the pack of mean girls. I'm gonna do this totally random here. Wow, okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that because they got like the Grizzak. I hope I said that correctly. We'll find out. We got the college ah college application test. I'm sucking on a cough drop right now. I'm sorry. I, I'm just getting over being ill myself. And then we got Ace Your Final, it's an activity card. Again, phenomenal art. I love the way Karen Hallian draws. All right, so what we have over here should be the magic cards. I love that first one right there, Melt. 
useful for sandwiches as well as monsters. Okay. And this will lower your grade. Again, I'm going to read the rules. I'll try and get a video up of us playing it. I like the fire solution. That feels like a spell is being caught on fire. Oh, 35 hour energy. Yeah, I have need something like this at work. Again, I'm just showing you guys some of the artwork. I think I need to break out the, uh, the student pictures individually. Uh, here's the graduation milestones. They're bigger, so it'll be easier to read for everybody at the table. These cards feel nice in my hand. They're not flimsy or anything, so I'm glad that with the delays they were able to make sure that they got, got good quality for the cards. All right, so game day every day. <coughs> Massive budget cuts. Ooh, and there's a lot more graduation milestones than uh, than they were they were originally testing. Like I said, they were putting out like uh, 43 updates, and when the stuff was first delayed, they gave us a chance to download the. Okay, the character cards must be mixed inside, so I'm going to like find them. But they gave us a chance to uh, print off and beta test the stuff. And I'm like, no, 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 I want to be totally surprised on how the game looks and plays. So now I am trying to find the character cards of who you will play. I know there's a Medusa-like type, uh, type one in there. Gotta figure out where she's at. Because I'm sure once when I find her, I'm finding magical friends, a librarian, robot dog, dual corn. Yeah, this was one of the first uh, pieces of art that I saw from Karen Hallian on her update of how the Magic School game was going. Is that no? Okay, I think I found the character cards. Whoa! Hey, stay still. Okay, so here we have Medlissa as a lower classman and as an upperclassman. So I guess that is going to help <coughs> basically like a beginner and expert level. Here you can see beginner level for Floridette Purdue. And here's her upper level, her upperclassman card. There's Patrick Pinner. I love his Don't Forget to Be Awesome shirt. <coughs> Jay Aza. Okay, I just, yeah, that's the lower one, and then that's the upper one. Steven Sear. I guess that's a play on his, on the last name. I can totally picture Brianna or Tori wanting to play as... Lilia Jackson. And then Evie Eve. I like the detail that Karen Hallian put in there, making him look younger for a lot younger for the uh, lower classmen and then making him look a little bit more mature for the upper classmen. Like we're playing with freshmen and then we're playing with seniors. Egghorn Eleven? That is a strange name. I might have to play as that guy. Because at first I thought it was like Foghorn, egg, uh, Leghorn. All right, here we got Kevin Kelvin. Then Aridil Daberville? Darberville? Wow. I'm having trouble reading. And then we got Nate Lancaster. Looks like Nate picked up a little fashion sense when he went to the upper class. And that is what the character cards look like. Then we got, should be the, the guide cards that should help us quickly play the game if, we don't, if we're having trouble with the book. But that is what this comes with. Again, I will try to <coughs> put a video up of us playing, like a highlights of it. Because this sounded like a phenomenal game to try and play cooperatively. It's not often you get a game 
where everybody's supposed to play with each other. Normally we're playing against each other, like with Monopoly and with Sorry and other old, old games like that. And Shoots and Ladders because of Tori. But this is one that I want to get me and the, uh, and the three kids to play, and we'll try and get you guys up, something like that. But I love that we finally got this, uh, this game in hand. Uh, thank you, Hank, and everyone. So please keep this up, and don't forget to be awesome. All right. Uh, if you guys got anything, just put comments down below, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and until next time, bye.